श्रीमद सदगुरु सरकार की जय वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय सियावर राम चंद्र की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय प्रथम सदगुरु वंदे श्री कृष्ण तदनंतर गुरु पापात्मना श्री कृष्णस त्वमलात्मना चेतो दर्पण मार्जन भवम दावाग्निर्वापन श्रेय कैरवचंद्रिका तरण विद्यावधु जीवन आनंदा बुद्धिवर्धन प्रतिपद पूर्णमृता स्वादन सर्वात्मस्नपन परम विजयते श्री कृष्ण संकीर्तन नम कमलनाथ भाय नम कमल मालिने नम कमल पादाय नमस्ते कमले क्षण यो ब्रह्मा बिरधाति पूर्व यो वै वेदाश्च प्रहिणोति तस्म ढ्वंगत्म बुद्धि प्रकाश मुक्षुर्व शरणम प्रपद्ये बुले वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की जय Dearest devotees of the Supreme Lord, the divine souls. First, let me say Radhe Radhe to each and every one. My pranam to all of you, and very happy Mary Radhe Divas to all. As I said, if you didn't hear before, Yugal Kunj Book One, page. Ninety-nine. Tum mere the mere ho, mere rahoge. Bah ko na ab, bah ka ne se. तुम मेरे थे मेरे हो मेरे रहोगे वह कुनाब वह काने से बहकाने से तुम मेरे थे मेरे हो मेरे रहोगे बहकुना अब बहक 
कने से जब समझ प्रेम में डूब गई तब क्या होगा समझाने से जब समझ प्रेम में डूब गई तब क्या होगा समझाने से तुमको तुमको ही तन मन तुमको ही तन मन धन अर्पण तू तुमको ही तन मन धन अर्पण तुम ही क मेरे जीवन धन तू तुम ही एक मेरे जीवन धन तुमको तन मन धन अर्पण तुम ही क मेरे जीवन धन तू तुमको ही तन मन धन अर्पण तुम ही एक मेरे जीवन धन अब पीछे नहीं हटे पग पियवीर चोट उर खाने से अब पीछे नहीं हटेगा पग पियवीर चोट उर खाने अब पीछे नहीं हटेगा पग पियवीर चोट उर खाने से अब पीछे नहीं हटेगा पग विरह चोट उर खाने से दिस ब्यूटिफुल कीर्तन वन द मोस्ट सेंटिमेंटल एंड मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल कीर्तन रिटन बाय कृपालु महाप्रभु very great meaning and of great importance it can help us tremendously literally we can understand the word for word but sometimes also it's important that we delved deeper when it comes to tattva gyan knowledge given by a saint true saint then we should not be lazy or careless we cannot love on the basis of love alone how many times we think ah oh, there's lecture 
every day in the retreat, this one hour of Sri Maharaji's lecture, Jagat Guru Tam Sri Kipalu Mahaprabhu, my Kaun, Mera Kaun. And some of us don't think it's important enough to attend or listen. Some people have a greater inclination to bhajan, kirtan. There's kirtan in the hall, bhajan, ah, let's go. And some like lecture more, there's kirtan, ah, let's go and take a walk, lie in the bed a little bit. Gappekar, <laughs> start talking with each other. And they hear there's lecture, oh, oh, lecture, let's run. And the one who likes kirtan, now, oh, I can drink some chai now. Both are very important. Interest comes because of our sanskars, where we have more interest. It's natural that some of us will have more interest in kirtan, bhajan, chanting, and also natural that some of us will have more interest in philosophy, in lecture. But Kripalu Mahaprabhu says that we have to do both. The Vedas, in the Vedans Sutra, there's a special Sutra on this topic, Avritti Rasakri Dupadeshat. Avritti means bar bar suno, bar bar parho. Listen again and again, read again and again. Avritti. To what? Upadesh. Guru Upadesh. Sant Upadesh. Sant Kivani. Listen again and again to the knowledge given by a true saint. This is a Tattva Gyan. We don't get that by reading some book. Ah, a lot of people are celebrating Gita Jayanti today, all over the world. Just celebration. How many people understand what is written in Gita? Small book, 700 shlokas. Just 700. Many people know by heart, little, little children in India. They know, they can say the full 700 verses without looking in the book. But what does it mean? Does it mean they know what is in Gita? Bhagavad Rasik Rasik ki baate Rasik bina ko samaj sakaina Khag jane Khagahi ke bhake. What is written by a saint? These are divine words. Just as a bird alone, khag, can understand the language of another bird, in the same way, divine words can only be understood by someone who is divine, divine mind, divine intellect, another saint. And a Rasik saint. There are different, different categories of saints. Gyani saint can understand what is written by a Rasik saint. No Karmi saint. So, Tattva Gyan is the foundation on which we have to build our love, our bhakti. It 
if our tattva gyan the knowledge given by the guru the true guru tooting guru one he gives knowledge guru bin hoi ki gyan we may read something a million times or the uncountable times we have read gita all this gita ved etc puran didn't this appear a little more than 5000 years ago bhagwan shri krishna descend in one of his partial manifestation veda vyas put all these books all of them into book form before they all existed from beginning last time all the scriptures in sanatan dharma have existed so these lectures in gita bhagavat mahapuran ved we have heard uncountable times we have read we didn't understand we think we did we think we did so only when guru tadvire pranipate na pariprashne na sevaya upadekshanti te gyanam gyaninas tatva darshina chapter 4 verse 34 gita ah two things qualifies him to be guru gyaninah tatva darshinah gyaninah means he has complete knowledge of all the vedas all the scriptures complete knowledge plus ah there's a plus he is able to remove our doubts sanshay ko nikal sakte he is able to remove our doubts but even more important tattva darshinah he has attained practical experience of shri krishna he has seen shri krishna the divine vision has attained the divine love divine bliss only such a person is qualified to be guru when we meet such an entity number 1 tad vir pranipate na completely surrender to him surrender doesn't mean bow in our head we meet a saint we come to yugal kunj we go and bow to the murti i am surrendered no <laughs> we have to surrender the mind the intellect मय मन आधस्व मयि बुद्धि निवेश चैप्टर ट्वेल्व वर्स एट गीता श्री कृष्ण से अर्जुन अर्जुन यू से यू से ना यू आर माई शिष्य डिसाइपल आई एम योर गुरु इन चैप्टर टू शिष्य स्ते हम शाधिमा ताम प्रपन्नम चैप्टर टू वर्स सेवन Arjun had told Sri Krishna, "I am your fully surrendered disciple, fully surrendered. You are my guru." But he kept applying the mind, the intellect. But, but, no. Why? Sri Krishna says, "Eh, does not surrender." surrender means given the mind and intellect completely when it comes to god when it comes to the saints the scriptures we do not apply our mind and intellect guru says this accept 100% that is surrender so that vir pranipat pranipat not this part part means surrender pranipat complete surrender 
Pariprashnen. Ah, doubts will come. All kind of sanskars in our mind from uncountable lifetimes will bring up doubts. We have heard so much, we have read so much in this lifetime. Plus, so many things are stored from uncountable lifetimes. It will bring up doubts. So, ask. Because you have a desire to know, to remove the doubt and save Aya. Serve the saint. Do seva. He will give you that knowledge. Divine knowledge. So here, Tum mere the, mere ho, mere rahoge. Tattu beta. An aspiring, very inquisitive soul. One who truly wants to know. Is saying to Shri Krishna. To Radharani, to Shri Krishna. Hey Shri Krishna, you were always mine, you are mine, and you will always be mine. This we have forgotten. Bhulge. There's something called Maya. Maya is the power of Bhagwan. Bhagwan Krishna himself says in Gita. So I'm doing lots of Gita verses today. To Gita Jayanti. We'll also celebrate. Bhagwan Krishna says, Daivi Hesha Gunamai Mama Maya Duratyaya. Mami vayi prapadyante maya metantarantite. Chapter 7, verse 14, Gita. The maya. Many people, when asked what is maya, they say it's an imagination of the mind. Mithya. Jagan mithya. That all these things is just an imagination. Everything you see, this world. It's an imagination of the mind. It's not real. Especially those who have heard a little bit of Jagat Guru Shankaracharya, his philosophy, his followers, Advaita Vedant, non-dualism. Most people will tell you, even Western philosophers, there are some, Hegel, Berkeley, etc., who also have said that everything is an imagination of the mind. Sri Krishna says, no, no. Daivi Hesha. This Maya is a divine power. Daivi. Or Mama Maya. Mary Maya. It's a power that belongs to Sri Krishna. It's his power. Shri Krishna is real, so Maya is real. If Maya is false, then Shri Krishna is also false. So because as Shri Krishna says, this is my power, no one can become free from Maya by themselves. No one can get rid of Maya. First to begin, nobody can destroy Maya. Neither Bhagwan, not even Bhagwan, Shri Krishna can destroy Maya. Remember that. Why? Aja mekam lohit shukla krishna bahavi prajaha shrijamanam surupaha ajo heko jushamanunu shete jahate nam bhukta bhoga majonya. Shweta Shutaro Upanishad, chapter 4, verse 5. Maya is Aja. Aja means unborn, eternal, beginningless. Three things. Brahm, Jeev, Maya. Brahm, 
भगवान श्री कृष्ण गॉड जीव जीवात्मा द इंडिविजुअल सोल वी पीपल एंड माया दैट पावर दीज ऑल फ्री आर अज on born eternal beginning less will never have a beginning can never have an end so no one can destroy maya what happens when we attain god realization we become free from the effects of maya sada pashyanti surayah tad vishnu paramam padam wait Maya will no longer have any effect upon us. We cannot fall ever again. I have mentioned to you before. Some people say once we were with Bhagwan, the souls were perfect, and something happened and made us fall. We did something wrong. and we have to go back to godhead this is not logical if we were perfect once and something happened that caused us to become imperfect and fall what's the use to become perfect again we'll fall again once we become perfect that's it forever Maya will never have any effect upon us ever again. So, because of this Maya, we have forgotten that we are the soul, Atma, Jeev, Jivatma, many names. Na jayate mriyate va kadachin na yam bhutva bhavita va na bhuya. अजो नित्य शाश्वत पुराणो न हन्यते हन्यमाने शरीरे चैप्टर टू वर्स ट्वेंटी गीता द जीवात्मा जीवात्मा द सोल हु वी आर द मिस्टेक वी आइडेंटिफाई विद दिस बॉडी haven't forgotten that we are the soul the atma from when from beginning less time bhagwan ko peet kiya na we turned our backs away from bhagwan and started looking for happiness in the material world because of that ignorance haven't forgotten that we are the soul atma jeev ये भूल गया बॉडी इज नश्वर दिस बॉडी इज डिस्ट्रॉक्टेबल हैज अ बिगिनिंग हैज एन एंड जा तसु ध्रुव मित्रम ध्रुवम जन्म मित चैप्टर टू वर्स ट्वेंटी सेवन गीता दैट विच टेक्स बर्थ मस्ट डाई एंड दैट विच डाई मस्ट टेक बर्थ बॉडी टेक्स बर्थ this body belongs to me my head is hurting me my body is pain and we say my body so my house my moruka i never say i am the house i am the moruka then how can i say i am the body whatever belongs to me is not me so i am not the body i am the soul atma jeev jeevatma and that soul shri krishna says never takes birth nor does it die no having come into existence does it cease to be because it is on born eternal and most ancient it is not destroyed even when the body is destroyed so this soul have always belong to shri krishna amritasya vai putraha the veda says every soul is a child of shri krishna every living being every soul he is our parent our mummy and daddy he is always mine 
we say the prayer, Tomeva Mata Chapita Tomeva. Hey Shri Krishna, hey Radha Rani, you alone are my mommy, you alone are my daddy. Tomeva Sarvam Mama Deva Deva, you alone are my everything, but only with the mouth. Reason being, why don't we say from here, from inside, the heart, the mind? Because of identifying with the body. So because of identifying with the physical body, we have made all these relations in the world. This is my mummy, this is my daddy, this is my sister, this is my brother, my husband, my wife, my child. These are all relations to the body. If I am the body, then they are all mine. But if I am not the body, if I am the soul, Atma, then none of them belongs to me. Nothing and no one. Only Shri Krishna. Mata, Pita, Bhrata, Suhit, Sharanam. Gati. All the Vedas are saying every relation of the soul, Jivatma, is only with Shri Krishna. So this is why we have to make this knowledge inside of us. Ah, this person is saying Tattvabeta, but this is to make it concrete in our mind. That hey Shri Krishna, hey Radha Rani, you were always mine because I am soul, Atma. You are mine, I haven't changed. And you will always be mine even when I attain God realization. Of course, if I remain on the Maya, you will still always be mine. Ab behakuna ab behakane se. So something has behakaya us. Something has made us forgotten who we are. That I told you, Maya. This Maya has deceived us. Now I am made this knowledge firm in my mind. I am the soul, Atma. I belong only to Radha Krishna. Maya, you can no longer deceive me. This knowledge we have to make firm. Practicing. Abhyas, Abhyas. Abhyas in to count you see, in Gita, Sri Krishna is saying to Arjun, today I'll do a few verses of Gita, more than normal. Sri Krishna is saying to Arjun, control the mind, control the mind. Man pad nigra, shasan. Arjun said, Chanchalam hi manha krishna pramati balavadhiram tasyaham nigaham manye vayu rivasudushkaram. <laughs> krishna, how to control this mind? It is so strong, turbulent, and unyielding. It is as difficult to control the mind as it is to control the wind. And Sri Krishna agreed with Arjun. Asan Shayam Mahabaho Mano Durunigraham Chalam. I agree with you 100%. Not 50%, not 20%, not 90%, 100%. You are correct. Mine is difficult. Durunigra. Difficult to control. Asambhav nahi, not impossible. How to do? Abhyasena to kaunte ya, vairagena cha grihyate. Through constant practice, abhyas means constant practice and vairagya, detachment. 
So should we practice detachment? Should we make the mind detached? I will not love anyone or anything. Don't come in front of me. We'll try to force, I'm going to force myself to be detached. No, no. This mind is very, very crazy. And if you force it, if we try to force this mind, if something is not accustomed to, it will get more crazy. So it has to come through knowledge. Ah, Tattva Gyan. This is where Tattva Gyan comes. Many places, but this is very important. When the knowledge comes firm in the mind, what knowledge? Knowledge of who am I? Am I the body? Am I soul? Atma. Through Guru's grace, by listening to his knowledge, his philosophy again and again, my kaun, mera kaun, premra siddhant, Reading again and again, listening again and again. Not Gita, not Bhagwat. What Guru has given. Upadesh. Again and again. Every day, listen a little bit, read a little bit. Every day, no matter how high you have gone. Carelessness will make us fall. We get lazy, we get careless. Naradham. Namam dushkriti no murha prapadyante naradhama maya parita jnana asuram bhavama shritaha Chapter 7 verse 15 Gita Four kinds of people Sri Krishna says cannot surrender to him. In that four, the category we belong to naradham we know what we have to do. Guru has told us. But we do little or nothing towards our upliftment due to two things. Laziness and carelessness. La parvahi. Alasya. When we listen to philosophy again, this is one of the things philosophy does. It brings the knowledge fresh in the mind. Plus, you see, we are governed by three modes of maya. Sattva-gun, Rajogun, Tamogun. All of us, as long as we are under maya, all the three qualities are there. Mixture. And one is always predominating. And the one which predominates determines our nature, our character, how we receive divine knowledge. The same lecture, Guru is given, the saint is given, and your nature at that time, your mind has been governed, tamogun. You will get restless, you will fall asleep. <laughs> Ah, many people fall asleep. You get bored. You become irritated even. The Rajasic qualities predominating. Ah, it sounds good. It's all right. And the Sattvic qualities predominating. Oh, it has so much impact. That you may start shedding tears. You will get so much bliss in those same words. When Guru gives lecture, when a saint, a Rasik saint is given this course, Sri Krishna Radharani herself is speaking. Through that word comes divine bliss, divine Premana. If your mind is in the right way, you can experience that bliss. This is one of the conditions of recognizing a true saint. 
But the mind has to be in that position, that condition. And we don't know when, how the mind is going to be. Which quality is going to predominate when. It's determined by our sanskars from the past life, prarabdha. So we listen again and again. Read again and again. The knowledge has to sit firmly. Pakka ho ja. Maharaj says, just as you always know you are you. Naresh always thinks and knows he is Naresh. Even while he is sleeping, he never thinks I am Robert. <laughs> so the knowledge has to become firm. Then there is no problem. So when that knowledge becomes firm, I am soul, jivatma, jiv, I am not body, one. Then soul belongs only to Shri Krishna, all my relation is only with Shri Krishna, number two. Number three, where will I find, what do I want, what is my aim in life? Kya chahiye? Happiness, sukh, anand, where am I going to find it? Only in Shri Krishna. Dhyayato Vishayan Punsa Sangaste Shupa Jayate. Chapter 2, verse 62, Gita. When we think again and again, bar bar, we think again and again that I will find happiness in this person and this object, we get attached, we fall in love. So when the knowledge comes in my mind firmly, that I will find happiness only in Radharani, only in Shri Krishna, only in Maharaji. And I think about it again and again. What happens? I get attached. I fall in love. My love increases. The more firm that knowledge becomes, the more your love will increase. Automatically. The reason may be, well, is not because the knowledge is not sitting firmly in your intellect. Buddhi me nahi bete. Dhir se, dhir. What is the reality of birth and death? What takes birth? What dies? Is there happiness? What is this thing called heaven, swarg? Can I find happiness in the world? Can I find in heaven? Or only Shri Krishna? Once this knowledge becomes firm in the mind, detachment will come. So detachment has to come through true knowledge. Not force in the mind. And control will come. Everything will happen. That thing will sit, knowledge will sit firmly. You are mine. You were mine. You are mine. And you alone will always be mine. Jab prem ho gaya. Samajh me. Now we think we love. <laughs> what we call love is not love. Now, teen cheese, hai na? there are three things. Ek hai lena lena. Ek hai lena dena. Aur ek hai dena dena. So, three things. One is lena lena, to take and only take. That is lust. Calm. One is lena dena, to give and take. Ye vyapar hai. This is called vyapar, business. And one is dena dena, to give and only give, and want nothing in return. Yeh prem, yeh pyar, this is love. We all have been well taught and are well practiced in only taking lena lena, and also give and take lena dena. You love me, I love you, don't love me, get lost. We have not practiced, or we not practiced enough, dena, dena. When that happens, 
when that love comes, that you love only Shri Krishna, only Radha Rani, only Guru, who is Radha Krishna personified, then someone can come and try to help you. Oh, I want to help you to understand something. I want to teach some Gita to you. I want to teach some Ved. Up to so much gaya. All Gita, all Ved, all Bhagavat is teaching us. What is it teaching us? Ultimately, how to love Sri Krishna, how to love Radha Krishna. Up to ho gaya. Vedas huge. Gita small. Bhagavat, Ramayana, so many thousands of Granth scriptures. But ultimately, all these scriptures are teaching us one thing. How to love Radha Krishna. How to love Prem. Asli Prem, the right kind of love. And if that has happened, there's no need to listen. Then only you can say, I don't have to listen. I have attained what I'm supposed to attain. Maya cannot deceive me. So this is a very, this line is talking a very high stage where we have to go. Siddhavastha. The stage of perfection. So before that, what do we do? Tum ko hi tan man dhan arpan. Tum hi ik mere jeevan dhan. First thing we have to do, surrender. Sarva samarpan. Shri Krishna says, how to get rid of maya? How to become free from maya? Well, we can't get rid of it, but how to be free from maya? जिससे हम पर असर नहीं हो सक नहीं होंगे। तो श्री कृष्ण ने कहा, इस ओनली वन वे। मामे वये प्रपद्यंते। चैप्टर सेवेन वर्स फोर्टीन। एव एव ओनली। इट्स ओनली वन वे। ही सेज ओनली द वन हु कंपलीटली सरेंडर्स टू श्री कृष्ण। Purna Sharanagati. Then Bhagwan Krishna will say to Maya, Okay, leave him. Leave her. Leave mine now. Then Maya will leave. What do we surrender? As I said in the beginning, most important, mind. Shri Krishna is saying to Arjun, Man Buddhi, different names. Some places called by three names. Indriya, Man Buddhi. The sense organs, the mind, intellect. Some places call only two at all, Man Buddhi, mind, intellect. And some place only one, mind. This same mind means three. All are in the mind. We have to surrender the mind. But mind is very difficult to surrender. Uncountable lifetimes our mind have, because of that ignorance, a gyan has been attached to the material world. Uncountable lifetime. That decision in the mind has become very firm. That I will find happiness in the world. A new house, a new car, handsome boy, beautiful girl, children, lot of money, etc. Comforts in the world. This decision. Ye nishchay bahut dir ho gaye bahut. Very firm. To change is impossible to change a decision 
it's impossible for a worldly soul. And this is where Guru comes. When we associate with a true saint and he gives us the true knowledge, slowly, slowly, our mind will start becoming detached from the world and attached to God, to Sri Krishna. So mind is very difficult and the scripture says also we have three things in our possession. Hamare paas teen cheeze hai. Three things. Tan, man, dhan. Tan, physical body. Shareed. Man, the mind, dhan, our material wealth. Money. Sri Krishna says, give me all. Sarva Samarpan. Eh? I can give the mind, but I don't want to give the money. My money. Nothing belongs to us. So if I give Sri Krishna everything, who is going to take care of me? Somebody may ask the question, okay, I'll give him everything, everything belongs to him. Datai karam bhikari sari dunya. People sing bhajan in the world. That God is the giver and benefactor of all and we are all beggars. In other words, everything belongs to Sri Krishna. So I'll give him everything. If it's his anyhow, but who's going to take care of me? Sri Krishna says, listen. Ananya chintayanto maame janah parupasate tesham nitya bhyuktanam yoga kshemam baham yaham. Chapter 9 verse 22 Gita. Those who worship me exclusively only Shri Krishna. Only Shri Krishna. There are six things we have told before. Nam, Rup, Leela, Gun, Dham, Sant. Any name of God, uncountable. Any form of Bhagwan, uncountable. Bhagwan, no Devuta, no celestial being, no human being, no Rakshas, only Bhagwan. Any divine pastime, Leela. Any gun, any virtue, uncountable. All these are uncountable. Dham, divine abodes, uncountable. Saint, uncountable. Any one of these we hold on to will be ananya, exclusive. All Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna resides in all and all of these resides in Sri Krishna. Anyone. And surrender completely unto Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna says, to them who do this, I will bring attainment of what they do not have. Jo nahi hai, wo de dunga. Aur jo hai, iski raksha karunga. What they do not have, I will give them. And what they have, I will protect. Shri Krishna is given this guarantee. What more do we need? Well, I do not have faith. Supposing uh, <laughs> there is no Shri Krishna? Wow. Ah, scripture is saying, Gita is saying, Bhagavad is saying, Ved, Guru is saying, but I, we lack faith. Vishwas nahi. We have to build that faith. Sri Krishna is saying with a challenge, I will take care. And before that, somebody may say, well, look, complete surrender and exclusively only Sri Krishna. I haven't reached. That sounds like perfection, saint. I didn't reach there. 
So before that was going to happen to me, Guru said, I will do. Before Sri Krishna, actually that's true, Sri Krishna will only do when we reach that perfect stage. Before that, Guru does yoga kshemam baham yaham. Guru, who is Radha Krishna personified, he wo he takes the full responsibility. The moment we accept a saint as Guru and we surrender to him, we take shelter in him, he will do all of that. He does everything. So we don't have to worry. So, give everything. Sarva Samarpan. He'll take care. Because you alone. I am my life. You are the very wealth. I don't have wealth. This is not the real wealth. Wealth is Radha Krishna. Divya Prem. This is our true wealth. Realize that. We have to realize that. Aba piche nahi hati No matter how much piya virahat chota urakhane, because we are going to experience viraha, we are going to experience something called viraha separation. Doesn't have to not be there. Doesn't have to be there. The gopis, Sri Krishna is standing in front of them and they experience in viraha. Separation. Because now I am seeing Sri Krishna, next moment I will not see him. So in the separation, when you love, when you truly love to the highest point, even a moment without the beloved becomes like eons, billions of years. The gopis used to curse Brahma for given eyelids. Because when they would blink their eyes, that moment they will not see Krishna. They could not bear. They cursed Brahma. Why did you give eyelids? So you will experience the amount of pain, how much you will experience, the amount of bliss you get in this, in union. Milan me. So much you're going to experience pain in the separation. Tremendous pain. It's a sweet pain. Don't be afraid, don't get scared. That pain is very important. But you will experience that pain. I'll explain as we go along more. That is the pain that is required for making the vessel pure, the heart, the mind. A devotee desires more and more viraha. Out though, out though. The gopis will beg for viraha, separation. Because what is experience in separation, you cannot get in Milan. In Milan, in union, the beloved is seen at one place at one time. In separation, the beloved is seen in every particle of the world. And experience in every particle. Every particle. So yes, I'm going to experience tremendous pain. But now I have realized you alone are mine. I have no one and nothing in the world but only you, Krishna, only you, Radhe Rani, only you, Maharaji. You can beat me, kill me, do whatever you want. Aslishya vapadaratam pinashtuma madarshanan marmahatam karotuva yatha tathava vidadhatu lampatu mat prananathastu sa evana paraha. Shikshastak, Gorang Mahaprabhu. Gorang Mahaprabhu says, Hey Krishna, there are three ways you can behave towards me. 
तीन व्यवहार You can lovingly embrace me as one who is very dear to you. You can become neutral as don't you don't even know who I am. I don't exist. Or you can trample me like an enemy. Take your Sudarshan chakra and take off my head. I object to no behavior. however you behave you will always be my beloved and my love will keep increasing regardless in fact in separation it increases even more there is a saying in the world also the heart grows fonder in the, when the beloved is not there in absence it is a fact You see, sometimes we meet a saint. I have experienced this. You go and you meet a true saint, divine entities, and they will be so nice and behave so nice, and will not scold you or tell you anything because you don't have knowledge, you don't have the attachment. You'd say they get one scolding, you run away. But when the love comes, and now you know that they alone belong to me. and i have no one and nothing then the scolding will start you will get such a bad scolding <laughs> but if you truly know the philosophy you will know that he has made me so much his that he knows i am his that's why that he has full rights that he know i will not move i'm not going anywhere अब हट गया आई हैव सो स्टॉबन यू कैन सेंड द सुदर्शन चक्र आई एम नॉट लीविंग किक मी डू वट एवर यू वॉन्ट हा बिकॉज नाउ यू आर लोन आर माइन सो आई दिस कॉपर्स वी विल कंटिन्यू दिस ब्यूटिफुल कीर्तन नेक्स्ट द नेक्स्ट टाइम बोले वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की राधा रानी की श्रीमद सदगुरु सरकार की सियावर राम चंद्र की पवन सुत हनुमान की श्री भक्ति धाम की श्री युगल कुंज की जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे